Did you see that score bes before it disappeared? You gotta look at the stats screen. Look at the previous playthrough. Total score, 1,101. Accuracy, 61%. Longest streak, 19. Hit count, 607. Miss count, 376. Oh my goodness, so that means I hit 600 notes. I must have got some multipliers, which boosted my score up to over 1,000. The multiplier is if you hit 10 in a row, increases the multiplier. So by default, it's 1. So then you hit 10 notes, and it becomes 2. And it keeps incrementing as long as you keep have that streak alive. And every chord currently counts as either two or three notes, because it is. Okay, so which one was that again? Um, hope is. Yeah, that's like freaking riff heavy and all that stuff. And um, that is thanks to my muddy pickups. P90 metal, I guess apparently it doesn't match. But hey, here I am. Uh, let's see, how long is this? We're currently one session, one hour. Let's see. Could try at least. Well, actually, I'll hang it up here before I push it too far. I'm lucky I got away with what I did. So let me just sync my stats to the server. Because when I play through this, it generates a JSON file of each playthrough of the accuracy, hit and miss notes. And the dynamic tempo uses those JSON. That's what you see me going to this tempo screen, dynamic button, all these configurations per song, and hit apply. And then this is the edit measure screen. No, yeah, edit. There's so many, just like five different screens, I forget them offhand. There's the um, edit tempo screen, no, no, edit measure screen, and then it goes into the edit. Gosh, I can't even remember my own code offhand. That's so so much, so many files talking, so. But the newest thing that's pretty cool, though, is I can see the tempo for each measure now. Since it's dynamic tempo, I just look up a little bit and go, oh, what's the tempo? Because it fluctuates. It, the, even the tempos are JSON file that don't alter the actual guitar profile. So this opens Guitar Pro songs, uses Python, Pygame, Pyguitar Pro, Tkinter, however you pronounce it. And it's a project I've been writing. That's what this open GP5 select thing is. It's a tuning folder, followed by the artist folder, followed by the song folder. And you choose a song loads it blah 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 and then you go I got I'm not gonna play that right now uh, I guess I haven't played the rhythm if you go to, I mean I haven't played the lead if you go to rhythm then I played it I think the rhythm has a good part but um oh well, that's not a full playthrough I gotta tell the back button here to not go back to the main there we go 142. See, I didn't really define um, stats. A good place, like I don't have it defined where it's, it requires um, X amount of song lengths to record these JSON. Because some of them I stop like however many seconds in. Maybe that should be another stat that I add here. It's so hard that Pygame Pi doesn't usually support this stuff, so kind of weird for Pygame to have this functionality in it. Buttons and tables. But it's opening JSON file of all my playthrough. So we go to drop C, let's go to hope is. Actually, let's go back. 
hope is. So that's the correct time. I just played it, right? 11.27. Incremented average play times there. I go to stats. I should go to my most recent one. Yeah, and it says I got... Oh, yeah, we just looked through this re <laughs> really recent. Let's go to another one. I played several. Go to here, sort by times last played. Oh, wait. Oh, I never played World of Blaze? Or When Darkness Falls? I never played that? Oh, man. Well, let's look at... Uh, I'll have to do that next whenever or even this fire burns or even element of one and the heartache i think i'm gonna pass on but nice even my curse i'm gonna pass on my curse and the end of heartache and do the rest of their library um wait i want to go to reject yourself what was my stats for that 60% accuracy. Even that is 500, 600 notes. Like, my arm could feel it. Just playing this metal. It's like lead and rhythm combined. <laughs> it's so much. Yeah, anyways, let's go to sync. Sync the stats with the server. See the terminal? It's uploading. Okay, so it's done uploading. So it synchronizes with what the website and with my other computer that I use this program with. Synchronize the files across different uh, devices. All right, um, I think I'm gonna end the stream now. See you later.